situated in the northwest region of Cameroon. As other areas of the region, Acha population is affected by climate change. Livestock system is the most prevalent form of agricultural land use in the Acha and Momo division and the northwest at large. Its production is one of the main livelihood strategies used by families living in the area, enabling them to accumulate assets and capital. It also provides a major pathway through which poor rural families can improve their income and social status. Fulani grazers are one of the minority groups who live in the Getty Hills and face a lot of problems. Over the years, threat of food insecurity, undernutrition, poor health condition, and especially climate change subject this community to serious stress and the future of the cattle in this area become very uncertain. The, the, season, take out and the grass are down, completely come burned back and now the soil totally degrades. When the cow has eaten the remaining grass, we have to take them on transplants for at least two months. After this period, without our family, we come back. During the transhumans, we usually lost a lot of cows. The last time, a friend of mine lost 20 cows because of sickness during this period. We are really worried by this situation nowadays. Livestock production has been managed traditionally in an extensive agro-pastoral system that encroaches on fragile and protected areas. Cattle constantly get in forest areas in search of thirsty grass, thereby destroying trees growing by natural regeneration. Again, uncontrolled bushfire is used to control weeds and external parasites. The overmature grasses also increases the bed width and overstocking adding in the pressure which have resulted in widespread decline in soil fertility. The soil cover that leaves the earth allows the land more prone to erosion. Degradation of these pastures can be observed by loose of eligible forage species and also with patches of bare soil and visible tracks of cattle movement observed on the field. Soil erosion leads to contamination of water sources and reduction in their volume. Water quality is also affected because animals are water directly from the streams, damaging the existing vegetation and soils in the adjacent riparian forests. You will notice that with um, climate change, um, there is a reduction in the productivity of pastures. And most of these um, grazers depend on the pastures for the, the production of their animals. And when there's, the, there's, there's a reduction in pasture, there's also a reduction in the productivity of these animals in terms of meat and milk. This change has reduced the soil productivity system and this has greatly increased within the last five to seven years. This loss in soil productivity has led to substantial less income for cattle rearers. The degraded pastures lead to transhumans whereby young families leave their houses during the dry season in search of pastures in the valleys. In order to face this, the Fulani people have tried to put in place some practical solutions. In this area, um, the, farm, the, the grazers mostly practice transhumans. That is, part of the family moves with the cattle to the valleys where you can get fresh grass even during the dry season. However, we have noticed that some of them are doing some oversowing of improved seeds such as Bacteria, Stylosantes, Desmodium to improve on the natural pastures. Others have brought in some improved but adapted animal species 
to be, which could be able to reach market age before the age of five and seven. Some of them have created further banks. In these further banks, they have planted Guatemala grass, which during the dry season they cut and feed their animals directly. Fulani grazers have become more inactive, causing them to plant trees around their homes, which will help as an additional carbon sink and the dead branches used for firewood. Although the Fulani grazers have tried to look for solutions to their problems, a lot has to be done to enable them continue expecting a better income for this activity.